We're live in Telesur English and we go now to Venezuela, to the Supreme Court of the country, to see the latest updates on the following up of the elections that took place on July 28th. We are looking at live images from the Supreme Court of Justice. Let's recall that on Wednesday, the President of Venezuela, Nicolás Maduro, filed an appeal before the Supreme Court, in particular before the electoral chamber of the Supreme Court, in order for the court to be able to verify the complete process of the elections that took place on July 28th. And after this appeal was made, the Supreme Court of Justice summoned for this Friday all the political actors that participated in the elections of July 28th for this Friday to begin the verification process regarding these elections. Now we're looking at images of President Nicolás Maduro, who has arrived at the Supreme Court of the country. He is one of the political actors who has been summoned in this context. And of course, all of the other candidates have also been summoned. The objective of this process, as was presented by President Nicolás Maduro on Wednesday, was to be able to verify the complete process and also begin a thorough investigation also into the all the actions that happened after the election, including a sector of the opposition that decided not to recognize, openly not to recognize the results provided by the electoral authorities. So the appeal made by the president aims for the tribunal justice to be able to go over the entire process, summon all the political actors and follow through on the complete investigation to guarantee the complete process being open and clear for the Venezuelan people. Of course, in a sovereign way, in a context of a, an important siege by part of the international media that the authorities of the Venezuelan country have also been constantly denouncing. So what we're looking at now is President Nicolás Maduro at the Supreme Court in this process that begins today, Friday. That is what we are looking at. We have heard just recently ago from the National Electoral Council authorities. And at this moment, we are looking into images that are live images right now from Caracas, from the Supreme Court of Justice of Venezuela now taking upon themselves to follow through on the appeal filed by the constitutional president of Venezuela, Nicolás Maduro, who has also been awarded as winner of the elections as was communicated by the National Electoral Council on Sunday, July 28th, after election day and also ratified today, Friday, by the same National Electoral Council authorities. Let's recall that 
at the moment of presenting and announcing to both national and international media the decision of the president to file this appeal before the Supreme Court regarding the election process in an attempt to for the justice system to take over the clarification and any clarification, if any needed, regarding the election process. The President Nicolás Maduro stated that one of the key points of his presentation was to make sure that the PSUV and the Great Patriotic Poll representing the ruling party, the ruling coalition, committed themselves to presenting 100% of the tally sheets regarding the election of July 28th, and they committed themselves to that. They assured that this would be the case. They would do this, of course, as summoned by the tribunal, the Supreme Court of Justice. And in the same effort, they summoned, or they stated that all other political parties, if the Supreme Court deemed this necessary, could be summoned to do the same. In this way, presenting all the tally sheets that they hold in their power, we're talking about confirmation tally sheets that are part of the Venezuelan electoral system and can be used as a way to attest, to prove the election. This is part of the electoral system with which Venezuela carries out its elections. Let's recall that this has been a very thoroughly audited system. It has been audited several times, both from national and international technicians. Still, this effort of being able to present all the data from the ruling party and also summoning all participants in the activity to do the same is an effort from the government, in this case from President Nicolás Maduro, to try to clarify, as he said it, anything that needs to be clarified if needed with transparency, with clarity, and with the Venezuelan Supreme Court of Justice as the maximum authority to decide on the matter in a sovereign way in a context in which international interference is, of course, rejected by the government of Venezuela. So, of course, the maximum court, the top court of the country, is the constitutional organ capable, in this case, we're talking about the electoral chamber within the tribunal court. En contexto también podemos informar que el presidente de la República interpuso so we were talking about images we're looking live from Caracas. This is the Supreme Court of Justice. We have seen President, Constitutional President Nicolás Maduro, along with other candidates who have made themselves present. They have been summoned by the top court for this occasion, and this comes about after President Nicolás Maduro filed on Wednesday a contentions resource, an appeal before the electoral chamber of the Supreme Court of Justice in order for the maximum tribunal, the top court of the country, to be able to, in a transparent manner, verify the complete electoral process that took place on 
July 28th and also all the actions that happened after the July 28th. Let's recall that the general attorney of the country, we're just seeing him on screen, has been giving updates all throughout this week about the investigations that are currently being carried out for vandalic and violent actions that have been present specifically since Monday, one day after the election took place, apparently after or on behind, on behind of um, different groups, far-right groups, and after a part of the extreme right-wing opposition decided not to recognize the official results, the official results of the so that is what we were looking at we were looking for we'll be seeing further updates we were seeing all the actors, political actors that have been summoned to the Tribunal Court of Justice. This is one of the appeals and one of the instances that Venezuela in a sovereign way is appealing for this court to bring light and reassurance and transparency to anything that has happened, including allegations from the extreme right-wing opposition, which will be called upon, probably in this instance, to show proof of declarations that they have made. One of the objectives of the of the executive in this case that, again, let's recall, it was President Maduro on Wednesday who filed the appeal that brings all the political actors together at the Supreme Court. At this moment, one of the objectives is to be able, through the power of the top court of the country, to summon the political actors to show proof before justice of any allegations that they might have as to confront this with the real information and the proof that all the other political actors have and so in this way the tribunal, the maximum tribunal of the country may be in a position to issue a final statement on the situation regarding July 28th. Let's recall that July 28th was presidential elections, first presidential elections after a number of democratic instances in which a sector of the extreme right-wing opposition agrees after a process of international mediation to rejoin the democratic game. So they have been, they presented themselves in this election process. However, after President Nicolás Maduro was announced, re-elected on Sunday night by the National Electoral Council, uh, this sector of the opposition rejected the results, did not recognize the results and ballot issued a series of um, accusations for which they have shown no official proof and no official, um, no official denounces before the correct institutions, they have been mainly operating in the media realm. So through this appeal, President Nicolás Maduro seeks to bring this 
situation to the realm of the top court of the Supreme Court of Justice for it to be able to carry out a thorough investigation, including all political actors, and find all the denunciations, find all the proof, and consider, if necessary, what is their final statement. Also, what are the responsibilities that lie upon different actors who have, for example, not acknowledge the results of a democratic process and of the same authorities that they had agreed to respect, in this case, the electoral authorities of the country represented by the National Electoral Council, headed by Elvis Amoroso, who was in charge of issuing the first results on Sunday night and also earlier today gave their final results which were which were issued just some minutes ago we were live with them as well in Telesur English and we will continue to provide updates on the situation so the process that is opening that is being open right now as we look at live images with the president Nicolas Maduro and other political actors already participating, already in the headquarters of the Supreme Court of Venezuela, opens this new chapter in what in what began, or at least had its paramount event on July 28th, Sunday, Election Day. An Election Day also that, let's recall, happened in a calm environment, in a peaceful environment, in which all Venezuelans who were credited and registered to do so could come to the ballot and place their votes. This was very, a very significant moment after an important part. Good afternoon. Please stand up. Let's listen to the authorities. Pueden sentarse. Good afternoon to all of you. It has been declared the opening of this at a secretary, please. You have the floor. The target of the present hearing is in conformity with Articles 207 and the Articles 12 and 14 of the Code of Proceedings applicable to the uh, organic law of the Supreme Court of Justice in the uh, appeal in the contentious appeal filed by President Nicolás Maduro Moro and this is it is there is a constance of the he, of the claiming of Nicolás Maduro Moros, well, Claudio Eloy, Fermín Maldonado, Carrie, Benjamín, Roseu Rodríguez, Luis Eduardo Martínez Hidalgo, Javier Alejandro, Petucci Carrero, and Daniel Omar Ceballos Morales, and Enrique Octavio Marquez Pérez who are acting in the character as, as presidential ca uh, candidates who participated on July 28th elections, 2024. 20, e likewise, there's a 
there's record of the um, well, there is record that the Attorney General of the Republic, Tarek William Saab, is present and it is being informed to the sides that the President of the Chamber, uh, Magistrate Beatriz Rodriguez, will read the corresponding, cor the respective act. I proceed to read the present at minute, uh, Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela and the Electoral Chamber of the Supreme Court of Justice. This Electoral Chamber of the Supreme Court of Justice of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela declares that from the, mo the historical moment that corresponds from the, uh, 1999, the deepened debates of the National Assembly that founded the present constitution of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. It was conceived the republic as a, as a democratic state, social state of rights and justice, in which the, so, the sovereignty lies in us lies in the people who exercises directly through elections as a participative means and with the proclaiming of the mania of the constitution it was born what we know as the electoral system of venezuela in its article 187 which main objective is to protect the political rights of the population in which there are highlighted the rights of participation on elections established in articles 62, 63, and 64 cons respectively of the constitutional test. So from here thereafter, the electoral chamber acts within the principle, the constitutional principles of due proceeding and uh, to, gar to guarantee the assets of the aforementioned electoral system with the by applying the proceedings that, re that regulate, that monitor the matter. So it must be executed by constitution and with an strict observance of the principles that ruled the electoral principles. The performance of the Supreme Court of Justice ruling of the judiciary power in Venezuela in charge of providing justice, of dispensing justice, and aware of the historical accountability in the electoral chamber and attached to Article 2 of the Constitution establishes, and I cite, Venezuela is made up of a social democratic state of rights and justice that sustains as superior values the life, the freedom, justice, and equality, solidarity and democracy, responsa social responsibility, and in general, the prevalence of human rights, ethics, and plural, multi, um, and mul multipolar uh, politics. And as one of the public powers of the Venezuelan states is attached to the uh, essential articles, as I said, cite the defense and development of the person and the respect for its dignity, the democratic exercise of the will of the people, the building up of a, of a fair, uh, fair society, lover of peace, the uh, fostering of welfare of the people and the guarantee of compliance of their rights and duties Con, uh, dedicated in this constitution. So understanding that without justice there won't, won't be peace, the electoral chamber, as it is in charge of protecting 
the activity of citizens that participated in the presidential election took up the uh, contentious appeal filed by constitutional president of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, citizen Nicolás Maduro Moro, by which it was requested the re a review of the electoral process of elections on July 28th with the end of investigate and ver verified and validate and validate and restrictly the results of those elections being this organization the court, the only the only in charge of uh, validating that so it become these uh, decisions of compulsory compliance that is why all candidates political parties and the Na National Electoral Council and other, as other in entities must attach, must uh, deliver all legal minutes that uh, been requested by this chamber. So in this chamber rests lies the jurisdiction in uh, electoral affairs. So. It, so that is why it is urged for all presidential candidates and uh, uh, political parties and other ent entities involved to respect the decisions of the court. And so th we signed on August 2, 2024. The president, Beatriz Rodriguez Rodriguez, Vice President Fanny Beatriz Marquez Cordero, Magistrate Inocencio Antonio Figueroa Alizaleta and the Attorney General of the Republic Tarek William Saab. And other candidates who were summoned to the present hearing. Please, Citizen Secretary, could you uh, collect the signatures? Eran las declaraciones de la presidenta del Tribunal Supremo de Justicia, la magistrada Carislia Beatriz Rodríguez. Rodríguez quien so, so those were the statements of magistrate president of the electoral chamber. And so uh, there we have been seen the, how the officials, the the officials have been signing this important um, document, including the, now the court bailiff. Uh, regarding this, uh, this case, process which aims to bring clarity, transparency in a sovereign way to the electoral process that took place in Venezuela. Let's recall that this comes after an appeal of protection that was filed by the president of the nation, um, Nicolas Maduro, seeking to, for the tribunal to be able to sum all, all the candidates we see now as president. Nicolas Maduro is signing this act that was just presented by the Supreme Court authorities. This is an important act and an important event also following the elections on July 28th and what the government itself has denounced as an attempted coup that, according to 
Venezuelan authorities have, has been orchestrated by the extreme right wing that did not recognize the results, the official results. And then after all that process, Nicolás Maduro filed this appeal of protection that is now at this moment being taken upon by the Supreme Court of the country. We were listening to Caris Lía Rodríguez, President of the Supreme Court. She gave an account of the process, also of the relevance of the Venezuelan institutions which are capable of taking upon themselves the investigation of their own electoral process. She also highlighted the importance of the process that begins today and also of respecting the democratic values of the country of which this process which has among all the candidates we are seeing now as how the candidates are going up to sign the document that the president of the supreme court has presented the importance we were saying the relevance of this kind of commitments to strengthen to strengthen the democratic values of Venezuela. So we are looking at images from the Supreme Court of Justice of Venezuela. Now we're looking at Benjamin Rousseau, one of the candidates. Who has stated the importance of respect and commitment to the results issued by the ins democratic institutions of the country? Let's recall that all the participants of this elections except the opposition represented by Edmundo Gonzalez, which is an extreme right-wing opposition to the current government. All of the other participants, including, of course, President Nicolás Maduro, had signed beforehand, as is usual and all, almost tradition in Venezuela, they had signed an agreement to commit themselves to acknowledge whichever result the National Electoral Council, the electoral authority of the country, gave after the election, after an election that had been, which, that had been audited, the electoral process has been audited by members of all, all parties, all political parties. So all the candidates that we're seeing right now had previously signed already in a democratic gesture an agreement to acknowledge all the results from this election. The only sector of the opposition that had failed to sign that agreement was the sector of the opposition that after the results were announced by the National Electoral Council, argued that they did not recognize this, to which a series of violent acts followed. Let's listen. Well, this chamber orders to uh, add 
eh, agradecemos una vez and más we appreciate we thank you your attendance at this hearing at uh, this uh, electoral chamber of the supreme of the supreme court gar guarantor of peace and uh, the due uh, proceeding it's been de declared uh, the closure of this uh, act por la sala electoral del Tribunal Supremo de Justicia. Podemos también reiterar la información. Se encuentran presentes los candidatos Enrique Márquez, Benjamín Rauseo, Antonio E. Carri, Javier Bertucci, Luis Eduardo Martínez, Daniel Ceballos, José Brito, así como también Claudio Fermín. Y se vale también destacar y reiterar la ausencia del candidato so Edmundo González Urrutia. Edmundo González Urrutia was the only candidate who didn't attend the hearing. We're looking at images from the Supreme Court of Justice, the act for which all the candidates were summoned by the Supreme Court has just been announced as closed. Now we see as the authorities are, are shaking hands with the candidates and also one of the facts to, to recall, to underscore, is the absence of only one candidate in this election out of all of them who have been summoned and that is the presence the absence of Edmundo González, far-right candidate, former candidate in the July 28th election, who did not come to this event to which he, as all participants in the July 28th elections, was summoned in this process that is being opened at the Supreme Court of Venezuela. As we can those were the images, the important images from this event at the Supreme Court of Justice. Let's recall that this happens after Democratic President Nicolás Maduro summoned and called, filed an appeal before the top court to start an inquiry, a complete verification of all the results of all the data before, during, and after the July 28th election. So that is what the beginning of that process is what we were just looking at with live images from Caracas. And we brought that live to you, the opening of that process that is now at the hands of the top court of the country of the Supreme Court of Venezuela.